weekly vlog, I got a job. Another lazy afternoon. The clouds got furred and gray. Third coffee of the day. Almost fell asleep on soon. I yawn at the display. Third meeting of the day. The man blowing leaves out there doesn't know that this is the vlog debut. Let's hope he's done soon. But hello, welcome to a very irregular week in the life vlog. This one I am unemployed. <laughs> I feel like it's been forever since I have like sat down and vlogged, especially vlogged a whole week. So I'm very excited, very ready to just like document, film, chat, catch up. Although I am unemployed, which we'll talk about more and maybe will be different by the end of the week, fingers crossed. There are quite a few work type things related to like the YouTube and social work, content creation type things that are going on this week. So it is kind of a busy week, but like in a very special way, which you'll see when we get closer to it. So a quick little recap of like the past month, I guess. Remember, I quit my job. You've seen that video. I did my last day of work on March 23rd. You've seen that video. I went to Colombia for 10 days. You've seen that video. When I got back from Colombia, I was utterly exhausted. I genuinely ceased to exist for probably four days. Like I sat on the couch. I slept for like 12 hours. I watched a whole lot of New Girl. I did not do a single piece of work. And I think that was like a big healing moment. Like I feel so glad that I was able to basically be comatose for those days <laughs> because all of the energy was just out of me. And then this past weekend, I actually went back to Missouri for a little bit, which I'm from Missouri, um, to attend my grandma's funeral. So that wasn't fun. Obviously good to be with family and to see family. And then I got back from that yesterday. So now it's Monday morning. I'm ready to like get a routine going, get things going again. I'm ready to clean up, pick up, make my bed back here. Last week was my week of rest recovery. And this week is going to be my week of recovery in a different sense. And I can't stress enough how excited I am for the things that are going on this week. So there's several social work content creation things that are happening which I mentioned and then also Wednesday of this week is when I next go into the prospective place of employment for what I believe will be my final interview and I'm really hoping that a job offer follows that but I don't want to get ahead of myself so we'll focus on the cleaning it would like Monday morning reset to have just the best week possible So the project that I'm going to be working on this whole week, but also getting ready for right now, I'm super, super excited about. But it's going to consist of me interviewing different social workers, like especially ones who have platforms who are like content creators. And so I have six interviews that I'm doing this week, which is so exciting. And kind of whenever I was talking earlier about how this week is very much a blessing, it very much is a blessing in the fact that like I get to fit all of this work that I'm so excited for into this week. And then I'm not going to a traditional job in this time. So like all of my focus can be dedicated on this. My first one is at 1 p.m. today. So I spent the morning kind of like preparing interview questions, trying to get to know a little bit of the people that I am interviewing so that like the interview questions can be good and fit to them. But overall, I'm just really excited because this is something that I've never done before, especially, oh, I just spilled a whole lot of powder into my sink. That's my bad. This is something that I've never done before, but then also I've never done to this level, I feel like. I don't know, like just with the different product outcomes and stuff that are going to be coming from these interviews, I'm just, I'm so excited for it. Probably because I know it's going to be helpful to people who are watching, but then also just because like it's some really cool people that I get to talk to and so I'm just excited to like learn from them and see like what they have to say and hear more about their stories and everything. So like I said, I have the first one at 1 p.m. today. I also have one on Tuesday. I didn't schedule it now Wednesday because that's when I have like my actual job interview. Oh, I have two on Tuesday and then two on Thursday. So five this week, I think I said six. I think it's kind of obvious that I'm still getting my wits back about me as I'm adjusting to regular life and not like being gone from home or being in an absolute comatose state at home. So once I physically get ready, then I'm going to try to find a good space for like the video that looks good for whenever I'm doing this interview today, but then hopefully I can just use for the rest of the time that I'm doing them. But it's fun to have this like content creation type project. And I think it's really good for me to have like something to pour myself into, especially in this unemployed time because like, okay, cool. I still have a purpose in this week and still have things that are fitting into this week. That isn't just me like floating into the abyss, not being connected to <laughs> anything. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
this is a purchase that I've put off for so long because I think it's such it's like because it's such a cliche and like it also is helpful but I just think it's so funny and I just for the first time got myself a little ring light so truly from here on out if I have bad lighting it's just due to my own laziness <laughs> I can't blame the sun anymore when I was a little child I naturally would see magic in the world from me okay I got it set up right here. See, it is like full natural light happening right now. So you can't really see the benefits of it right now, but at times whenever it's dark, I will no longer have to be dark with it. Ooh, we can do warm light. We can do cool light or straight white. I feel like this is my introduction. Like this is my hazing into content creation. <laughs> I'm gonna eat some lunch though before one o'clock comes and I'm doing my interview. I'm so excited. Okay, I'll do a quick little introduction and then introduce you and we'll get going. <laughs> Okay, I'm glad the first one is done. Great person to talk to, absolutely loved that. But we ended up having to switch from a Teams meeting to a Zoom meeting because I couldn't figure out how to record a call in Teams, which I guess just like the first time you do anything, there'll be some bumps to work out. But that was my that was my little work for the day that I'm very excited about. And I'm very excited for all this to come to fruition so that you guys can see like the conversations that are being had. Now I often get so tired. It's harder just to be fascinated, breathing free. But I can hear raindrops step dancing on the roof. It's like they're calling out, don't lose your youth, cause I can stay inside and step away inside. Before last night, there was only one book that I can remember, like in the recent, maybe like 10 years or so, that has made me cry. And that was The Riviera House by Natasha Lester. And then as you've seen last night, um, another book has been added to that list. I finished Us Against You by Frederick Bachman, which is the second book in the Beartown series. There's three of them. There's Beartown, Us Against You, and then The Winners, which I just do not feel emotionally ready to go on to The Winners yet. But oh my gosh, this was a good book. Like literally, Beartown was one of the easiest five stars I've ever gotten. This one, I swear I gave five stars like a quarter of the way into the book just because I knew it was going to be great. And it was great. I feel like it's so hard to describe it. I don't think there's any way that I could describe it that would actually do it justice. But the writing is beautiful and the way that you get to know so many different people in the community and see like how the community works and all the nuances of that and like you're cheering for everyone even though everyone's not like on the same side and people do awful things but somehow you still are cheering for them and like highly recommend this series it was so good i also did get a couple things done last night like i worked out made dinner which i think i included clips of both of them and i'm gonna try to do all of that same today i have two interviews today two interviews of social workers the video ones i feel like it's hard since i have like an actual interview for a job this week too two social workers i I'm interviewing today and so I'm gonna spend a little time to prepare for that kind of get to know them a little bit based on like their socials I'm just so excited to be talking to like such cool people and then right now while I like drink my coffee and everything I'm gonna start editing the one from yesterday just to get a head start on that kind of see how the final product ends up but yeah welcome to day two of unemployment week <laughs> there but I feel like we're all we all have our different experiences and I learn from them on a daily basis. Yeah, that's awesome to hear. I like didn't vlog at all today. I think last we talked was this morning. My day felt really busy, but it was all the freelance stuff that I've been working on. I feel like I'm in my Jen Lauren era because she's like the only other person I've watched that does like editing all day. It has been really fun and I'm glad that I've like had a purpose in this week. That being said, I am gonna go work out. I was kind of starting to get stressed because it's getting late and I was like, if it gets too much later, I'm gonna make some excuse and not go to the gym and then like beat myself up for it later because I had the whole day to go to the gym. I'm really trying to work on getting strong and being fit because I always feel the best whenever I'm in like a really good routine but sometimes I feel like that routine has to be super duper forced. Yesterday was full body and it was like my second workout in the whole past month and today is legs. I do feel glad that I was able to like pour myself into something today even if that was just like a whole lot of editing but I think that saved me from feeling anxious all day today about my 
actual job interview tomorrow the final job interview tomorrow where I'll be like meeting people and I almost feel like because I've done now so many interviews for this job that it feels like routine like driving to the little parking deck that I park in and like going and get my parking validated and like sitting in the lobby and calling to them to let them know I'm there I've done it twice before so now it feels like habit which I think is making me feel less anxious because it's like oh just another one of those I haven't decided yet what outfit I'm gonna wear in the past two I decided well in advance yeah but for now I'm gonna go try to just like pour myself into a workout I feel so jealous of people that can get so like zoned in and tuned in and workouts I feel like my brain gets too distracted like it's been forever since I like just like lose time or something while I'm working out but I love when that does happen Put on my rain boots my favorite chiffon dress I don't care today what the neighbors might say Put on my rain boots my favorite chiffon dress I don't care today what the neighbors might say Cause I could stay inside and type away inside Oh make a today just a little less mundane oh. The nerves have started like clockwork. It is about 15 minutes, maybe 10 minutes right now before I'll leave to go to the interview, which is excessively early, but also I just, I don't want to run into a place where I'm like struggling to find parking and end up being late or anything. You know, just makes me feel better to be excessively early. I think the nerves are coming from the fact that I just don't know what's going to happen today. And I also don't know what I'm going to find out today. And it is feeling like routine of like, okay, getting dressed for my interview, like heading in, whatever, because I've done it so many times before now, I think at this point, but it's still, feels nerve-wracking for sure. I'm wearing my purple pants, which I showed you. I was gonna wear my blue pants, but I think I might have worn them to my first interview and I can't remember and I didn't take any pictures. So that's okay, no worries there. I started reading Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, which you would have seen. That's what I decided I could handle after finishing Frederick Bachman's Us Against You. So this morning I woke up late, stayed in bed later, ate breakfast, drank coffee, read a little bit of Harry Potter, got ready, gonna eat my eggs, which I kind of overcooked. And this is kind of new. I decided that I feel ready to post my quitting video. So that video is actually going live today. Today is the day that you'll have seen it once it goes live. It was originally going to be on Sunday because I kind of wanted to get this day over with before I posted it. But I mean, it's been five weeks since I filmed it. So <laughs> it's definitely been some time and I think I'm ready for my little, my little announcement. In my head, this is like a really big deal. I understand that it's not, but I also am kind of imagining that that video is going to get a lot of like pretty immediate clicks. I'm kind of interested in how it's gonna go, but it is 11.10 right now and it won't be until three that that video goes live. So I'm not like, I'm not anxious about it. I'm apprehensive about it. Like I'm anticipating its release and you know, seeing reactions and stuff like that. And then later today, like this evening, Zach and I are going to an Atlanta Braves game, which is my second Braves game ever. The last one went to was in October. So I think that should be kind of fun and maybe it'll be celebratory. We don't know. I don't have a job offer yet, but the interview went really well. And I'm really looking forward to being reached back out to. If you want like a little hint of what I'm interviewing for, I'll like actually tell you when I actually get the job offer, but I feel like this is gonna give it away. So this is my third interview, which I think I mentioned. The fourth one, or the first one was the job fair that I went to in my like doing hard things vlog back in February. And then I had two separate interviews in March. One was with a social work panel, like of, I guess, lead social workers. And then the second one was an interview with peers. That like first official one, the one with the panel was the one that I I vlog that's in the like interview prep and resume tips and stuff video and then the second one in March I didn't vlog because it was the day I literally had an interview on Wednesday and then my last day of work was Thursday and then I was on the plane to Columbia on Friday <laughs> so I did not vlog that one but then this one was with like a multidisciplinary team and it was two interviews in one I guess, I don't know, but it's been cool. So I went in at noon and from noon to 12.30, I had an interview with a music therapist, a nurse navigator and child life specialists. And then after that, they gave me a little tour, like someone who I interviewed with previously gave me a tour of where I could possibly be working, which was absolutely maze-like. And I like, <laughs> I could not recreate the tour. Like if someone was like, go back to the doors you were at, I couldn't, absolutely maze-like, but cool to see. And then that was from like 12.30 to one. And then from like, 1 to 145 I had an interview with a social work lead that couldn't make a previous interview but could this one three lead nurses or like nurse managers and one doctor I think it went well I really enjoyed all the people that I met but then at the end they were like okay we'll reach out soon so I was like 
okay. <laughs> Glad to have it done though. And there won't be, at least I'm pretty sure, there won't be interviews further than this. But I came back, I made a smoothie because I was hungry. I'm watching Love is Blind. I've watched a whole lot of season four in the past couple of days. I'm really excited to be like all caught up so that I can look on TikTok and see people's commentary and what people are saying about it. But I don't want to go and like see what people are saying about it before having watched everything that's here because I don't want anything to be spoiled. And then I also just recently seen that it is 3.11, which means my quitting video has released. <laughs> It is out open to the world. I kind of forgot about it even, but I'm glad I went ahead and scheduled it. Let's see. Yeah, 17 views in the first 12 minutes. I was thinking that like if people were getting notifications or something, this is one that would be clicked on pretty quick because you're probably like, what the heck? 12 more views <laughs> than usual <laughs> in the first 12 minutes. Yeah, but I wanted to give the update. I think, eh, I think it's in my plan to work out, but right now I am feeling the need to just sit <laughs> and we do have the Braves game later today. So I don't exactly know what's going on. So super glad to have that interview done. Oh, I went early, like I told you, because and it, it took me 20 minutes to find a parking spot in the parking garage. So it was a good thing that I went early. And then the spot that I eventually squeezed into, I don't think was actually made to fit a car. I saw an SUV that was like, pulling into a spot. So I was just waiting behind them to go past them once they got into the spot, but then they couldn't fit. So they pulled out and like kept going. And I was like, mm, can I make it? Do you think I can make it? And I made it. <laughs> I think those are all my updates for now, but I'll check in again later. Life is a winding road. No telling where it goes. Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I, I really wanna know, really wanna know If I let me figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my heights Say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground Searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down I feel like I keep just waking up later and later <laughs> So I probably need to get a job pretty soon. Today is another day with interviews that I'm doing for like the social work content, like interviewing social workers and making videos out of it. And so I have two interviews today, one at 1 p.m., one at 5 p.m. It's about noon right now. And I feel like I just woke up. Like now I've been awake for like three and a half, four hours, but the day just does not feel like it's gotten going. And I think part of that's it's really rainy outside. And <laughs> I don't know, I just feel tired. It's definitely a balance of like allowing myself to rest because I feel tired and then also being like, Anna, you haven't been doing anything for like two weeks. Why are you still feeling like this? The Braves game was fun yesterday though. They won and Zach's already like trying to get tickets for another one. I feel like he's falling more and more in love with going to baseball games, but it is cool and it is cool that the Braves are so nearby. Oh my gosh, the video that got posted yesterday it was the quitting video. And remember how I was saying how I felt that it probably was going to be getting a lot of clicks. This is the most viewed video like quickly right off the bat that I think maybe I've ever had. There's been maybe like one that would be competition for it. But right now there's like 1,100 views, which is just very high compared to usual, especially being less than 24 hours after it posted. So I was right. You guys are nosy. You enjoy the news, but there's also been so many 
sweet comments and not only sweet comments but also people who are relating with feelings that I talked about in that video so that feels good to see it's the whole like I hate that you're in that boat too but I'm glad that at least if both of us are going to be in the boat that we're not in it alone so thanks for the support I appreciate you I don't think there's any video I could have posted that would have gotten like that many clicks like my click-through rate was like 18 percent I think it might still be up there and usual is like three to five. I think like even if I were to announce an engagement or like announce a pregnancy, like I don't think it would get as many clicks. <laughs> so that's just kind of funny to me. Getting my laundry, working on it, gonna get it done. Gonna prepare for my 1 p.m. interview. I feel like this day has gone by so much faster than what I have to show for it, but I guess sometimes it's like that. Hi, I'm Anna, a licensed social worker interviewing social workers and my guest. There is something about these interviews that is like fulfilling such a fun, fun thing for me. I've mentioned her on this channel before and maybe you subscribe to her. If not, you should definitely look into it. But I just talked to Razia. She's Razia J on YouTube. She was in Fordham at the same time as me. Like we were both in the advanced standing cohort at the same time and never had any classes together. Like didn't know each other from Fordham, but I found her on YouTube at some point during our degree program. But she's who I just interviewed. And it's so cool having like being able to talk to someone like that like I've seen her videos like we've commented to each other but actually be like oh my gosh you're real and you're really cool it just I feel filled up inside but yeah I have another one in like three hours don't know what I'm gonna do until that time but I'll figure it out I know I've already said it so many times this video but I'm so glad to have something to like be doing during my unemployment week Where can I go? Who can I go to to ask these kind of questions? What can I do or where can I start? Mm -hmm. So the fact that this is something that is in play, I'm just, I'm just excited. Okay. I'm so glad you're a part of it. Thank you so much. Hello. Happy Friday. I just finished the last of my like social work interviews for the week. I got my little setup. Look. I got my little setup of like my laptop and my ring light and I'm feeling very content creator, loving it. I guess now ahead of me will just be a lot of editing, which I think I'm just not going to do this week. I already finished two out of five of the interviews that I've done, which is kind of a lot for one week. And so I think I'm just going to push you know, the rest of them into next week or so. I do have a bit of an update on my job in the interview that I went to two days ago now. In that, I don't think we're actually gonna find out this video. I really, I was so hoping, like even in my head, I'd already planned on titling this like weekly vlog, I got a job or something like that, my new job. And I just don't think I'm getting the job offer this week. Um, I got an email yesterday from the person that I've been contacting. And again, all of this, like I've not caught up to real time yet. Like I'm not telling you things before I find them out if that makes sense like it'll be a couple weeks from now when you see this video so I'm not telling things in real time but I got an email from my contact who was saying that there was a doctor who wished that they could have been at the interview that I went to on Wednesday but they couldn't make it so could I talk with her on the phone either last night or today and it just kind of made me feel not anxious necessarily I don't know I don't know the name of the feeling that I was feeling but kind of just like oh I kept thinking I was done doing interviews and it was just another thing but I knew that like it would be fine I could do a phone interview and I like talking to new people and so I was like yeah like I'm free from this time and this time whatever um and then she ended up responding and said that the doctor is actually willing to heed to the decision of the rest of the medical team and I'll hear from their recruiter most likely sometime early next week so I think that's good news like I I feel like if I didn't get it, they wouldn't say like willing to defer to the decision of the other medical team or wouldn't tell me that I'm hearing from the recruiter. It's like, I feel like it's good news, but I still haven't been offered a job, which I just feel like is, I've been in like purgatory for so long. And with that, if I'm not talking to anyone else until early next week, that means that my unemployment continues. So what I did this morning when I woke up before this interview was I think I'm gonna do like meal planning to a bigger extent than I ever have before, just because I have the time to plan and I have the time to actually like follow through with it. And so I was doing a lot of research this morning on like macros and what my ideal protein in a day, carbs in a day, fat in a day would be. And I made a little grocery list that I'm gonna go get pretty soon honestly just because i think i tend to get in ruts as far as fitness goes like i've been lifting and working out for forever but lots of times i just don't think too too much about the diet part of it i do tend towards healthy and i don't really restrict myself of anything too much but also i feel like lately i just haven't really been feeling good like i'll settle for like a bag of popcorn or something whenever i could have had like an actual balanced meal that's actually giving me nutrients and stuff so i think this will be kind of fun hopefully that's the plan today i also have a book to return and pick up from the library this is like the first time I'm getting out on the town 
<laughs> in a long time. And then I forget if I mentioned this already or not, but I got Zach and I tickets to go to a comedy show tonight, which is my first time ever going to a comedy show. But I so love watching like TikToks of comedians doing stand up. And so I was like, well, I kind of want to go to an actual comedy show and see what that's about. So that's tonight. It doesn't start till eight. So I might have to have a cup of coffee a little bit later so I can stay up. And it wasn't like all too different between getting just like a regular general admission and getting a VIP table. So I was like, well, if I'm treating Zach to a date, like might as well go VIP table. And so we're VIP table, which I think means that we're in the front, which I'm hoping means Zach gets roasted. I've told him that too. That's my goal for tonight. Is that some comedian roast Zach in a loving way. That's my goal. <sighs> I really wish I'd gotten a job offer this vlog. The vlog's not done, so I guess we still have a chance, but it'll probably be next week. Even if the sky is falling down The huge downside to going grocery shopping alone is that now it is only up to these two guys right here to get all of my groceries up a lot of flights of stairs. I feel like, I genuinely feel like it's going to be three, four trips today. But I got all my ingredients for my meal plans, so that's exciting. And I got myself a little piece of cake because we love that too. <laughs> Comedy was fun. I think we'll definitely go again. Probably not for a while because it's pretty expensive, but it was very fun. We were very, very front row, like right next to the stage. Like my feet were basically touching the stage and they did eight different comedians for 10 minutes each. So it was kind of fun just getting like the diversity of like different people and their different comedy styles. Zach did get roasted. <laughs> Overall though, I really wish that this vlog had ended differently. I thought that I would be getting a job by the end of the week and obviously um, that has not happened, which means that the next vlog, hopefully, <laughs> will be the one. I think I'm gonna do a this vlog ends whenever I get a job for my next vlog. So it could be like a day in the life. It could be a day and a half or it could be a week and a half. We'll just have to see. Thanks for joining me in my unemployment era. I feel like I don't know this for sure because I haven't watched back the video yet. I feel like you can tell an energy difference in me having been freed from my place of employment. <laughs> so I feel very thankful for that. And I feel like it gives me a motivation to hold on to that, that joy and that energy and everything much, much tighter as I go into new phases of life once those begin, since we have no idea when <laughs> the next working phase of my life will begin. Be kind to yourself today. I appreciate you so much. Subscribe before you go and I'll see you next time.